Well, it's always been my intrinsic interest in nature, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That's where that came from. Um, I, I think most, you know, uh, really sincere landscape artists have an affinity with landscape. Mm -hmm. And you realise the power of it. I mean, recently yeah. with earthquakes and cyclones and mm -hmm. flooding, I mean, you know, I'd like to see man simulate a thunderstorm. I mean, yeah, yeah. you just can't. But getting back to that, I mean, I think it's the emotional response to that really powerful um, you know, and an innate force that's within all of us. That's why, you know, I think all the great impressionist works were painted outside. Uh, mm -hmm. And then beyond that, you know, you could use that as a foundation to abstract it. And that's probably more important back in the studio because yeah. it's so hard to divorce yourself from that. Whether it's the heat of the flies or the, the sand, it's, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's real outside. Mm -hmm. And you do things outside that's sometimes totally irrational because, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're letting that energy flow, it, it does become a very cerebral exercise in the studio. Use anything that works, you know, work backwards. Um, and the great thing about all paint, like any sort of paint, I mean, you can always revise it if it doesn't work. Because I mean, initially do the, my, my work is done outside, but the revision in the studio is becoming more and more important.